Hi, this is Mananshal V. In this episode, I'll show you how to work with chroma key assets that include shadow. In LumaFusion, when you have a chroma key video with shadows and you apply a chroma key preset, the shadow is keyed out with the rest of the background. In this tutorial, I'll show you how to keep and cast that shadow while making it semi-transparent. Here are some examples of chroma key assets with shadows that I found in Storyblocks and how they look when shadows are kept. As you can see, the addition of shadows being casted on the background helps making the subject feel as an integral part of the scene. Before we start, make sure to stay to the end of this video for an example I created showcasing this method. Heads up, I deserve a moment of silliness from time to time. This is the effect that we'll be creating. Let's start with a new Luma Fusion project already containing two clips, a background video, and the chroma key asset with a shadow. When choosing a background video, look for a place in the video where your subject could stand and cast a realistic shadow. Make sure that the video is still, preferably filmed on a tripod, with no camera shakes or movement. Alternatively, consider using a still picture or a virtual background. refrain from using reflective floors so you don't have to worry about the reflection of your subject. For the chroma key asset, prefer subjects that stay in place. Or subjects that move across the screen consistently without requiring the background to move in order to simulate a camera pan or tilt. Going back to LumaFusion, place the chroma key video just above the background video. Edit the chroma key video. Under Colors and Effects, go to the Key section. Apply the green screen key preset. As you can see, the shadow has been keyed out together with the background. Adjust the chroma key settings if necessary. Tap on the Frame and Fit tab. Resize and reposition your subject to the place in the background where you want it to stand. For this example, I want the subject just in the middle of the screen so I'll leave it where it is. Exit back to the timeline. Clone the video that you just edited and move the cloned copy aside. Edit the original chroma key video again. Go to the Colors and Effects tab. The green screen key preset is still applied to the video. Select the key section and add the light luma key preset. Change the order of the effects so the light luma key preset appears first and the green screen key preset is second. Going back to the luma key preset, set the roll off to 100. Adjust the luma range settings so you can see the shadow. Focus on the shadow and ignore how the subject looks. Set erosion distance to zero. Decrease the erosion blur to about 0.70. This will add a slight blur to the shadow. If by the end of the process you see that there is a halo around your subject, further reduce the value of this setting down to zero if needed. Now tap on the Frame and Fit tab. Under Blending, reduce opacity so the shadow looks semi-transparent. Focus on the shadow and ignore how the subject looks. This is how it looks now. Exit back to the timeline. Place the clone copy of the chroma key video that you created earlier on the third track, just above the video containing the shadow. This is how it looks now. Edit the cloned video that you just moved. Tap on the Colors and Effects tab. 
the green screen key preset is still applied to the video. Now add the original preset right after the green screen key preset. Adjust shadows, levels and contrast to match the subject with the light and colors of the background. Exit back to the timeline. Here's how it looks now. And we are done. Here's the example I mentioned at the top of the video. So this is it for this episode. If you like this video, please consider subscribing to this channel, give it a like, and click on the bell so you are notified when I post new videos. Thank you for watching, stay safe, and I'll see you on the next one.